I think that what we're seeing, though, in Western society in particular around race, so there's all this stuff, sorry, I'm going to talk about this a little bit, but there's all this stuff happening in the U.S. where all these states are now uh, putting forth bills to try to block what's called critical race theory in school. Critical race theory. I thought this might come up. Yeah, I was wondering whether this is going to come up. Well, I think it's a very, it's, it's timely to talk about with this particular topic, right? If we're talking about neuroses and sure. what this construct of race and colonial and the history of colonialism and all these things have created, what this hierarchy essentially has created is a neuroses. And so what's happening is like people are freaking out because they see critical race theory. So on the one side, people see critical race theory as like, you know, demonizing whiteness and making white kids feel bad about being white. On the other side, people who are for critical race theory and want it to be taught see it as, well, we're just telling the truth about the history of this country. Um, I think it's, I think the problem with, I think we have to talk about the history of this country and race and the way things have played out and, you know, how this country was built, i.e. on genocide and slavery, genocide Native American slavery of Africans. Um, we have to talk about those things. But I do agree that critical race theory, I think, because critical race theory takes for granted that race is real, biologically real. Okay. And I think, anyway. Okay. Um, and I think that to a degree it is, critical race theory is this thing that's utilized in a way. Like it's one thing to, you should talk about the history, you should talk about everything that's happening. But if you're trying to make everyone feel guilty yeah. as an, on an individual level, what's the point of that? Is that the case though? I think it is. I, well. Okay, let me say this. From I don't know how it's being taught in every school. Right. As an educator in the university setting, yeah. talking to other teachers, other professors, other adjuncts, I do think a lot of times the way that they talk about race is in this very it's in a it's 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 it gets everything gets boiled down to the interpersonal and the individual level whereas it's like these are systems these are systems and historical things that that happen and these are systems that are in place how do we dismantle these things without making you white student as an individual feel like you this is your fault well look, i'm not going to present that let me just mm -hmm. say this outright at the outset in case mm -hmm. there's anybody on here like all oh, super critical race theory type person whatever else mm -hmm. i'm not an expert in critical race theory i don't mm -hmm. know american critical race theorists we don't read that stuff over here that's not a uk thing as far as i know um maybe not I'm yet but it will be if it's a matter of time but it's a matter of time yeah it's a matter of time but the point is for the time being i'm not familiar with any particular kind of like authors in the in the area that will consider themselves critical race theorists as such mm -hmm. i don't so look i'm not speaking to that as as an expert mm -hmm. in any way shape or form what have you none of that is right that's not at all what i'm doing but mm -hmm. but i am conscious of the the criticism the criticism that that like this, but this is what the conservative right will always say that mm. any attempt to um, analyze or to discuss mm. or to honestly confront the histories and the um, the facts of yeah. trauma and racism and whatever else in the United States will always result in conservatives saying things like, well, okay, but you're just saying this to, to kind of like blame the white person. You're just saying this to make me feel responsible for it. You're just saying this to kind of make us feel guilty, right. so on and so forth. That just seems to be the, the traditional defense. Now, because I don't yeah. know anything about critical race theory i can't be like oh yeah no it definitely does this or it definitely does that i don't but the know thing is, i'm not i don't even i'm not even trying to say that it's critical race theory as a theory i'm just saying in practice the way that i've seen this stuff play out it's very much about and and not only critical race theory but in general academia at least on in the universities that i've taught at um and with the people that the other, you know, professors or adjuncts or whatever that I, I know, the, it's really about indoctrinating your students into wokeness, into whatever you deem is woke. And so if you're against cops, your students gotta be against cops. And I used to be this way. This is coming from a person that I used to teach this way. And then- You know you're gonna I, make mad enemies saying all of this, you know that. Okay. I'm just warning you. I'm not, I'm not in the US, but I know y'all are crazy. Get online. You know how many enemies I already got? Okay. I don't care. I don't know. People don't like me. It's fine. 